what's going on guys welcome to the channel in today's video we'll be talking about a brand new mythic card here in harry potter's magic awaken but before we get started on the video make sure you guys comment like and subscribe and also turn that post notification bell so that you guys can always stay tuned as well to when i post new videos i'd really appreciate it and if you guys are new here to the channel i make videos on various games such as ether gazer and tower of god so if you guys want to check out those games you can click the channel down below and you guys can start watching those videos now anyways let's get to the video so today we will be talking about the brand new mythic card obscurus so the update was just today the maintenance is already over and this card already looks good this looks absolutely amazing this is a mythic card and i'm definitely going to try to do some pulls for it i don't have enough for pity but hopefully i'll be able to get it and this video so i'm definitely going to be doing some pulls for this card but the first thing i want to do is i want to try out this card and i and then after that i want to like read the descriptions of the card and to see you know what this card can do so i'm going to go over here and try out the card so this is the card right here so i'm going to go ahead and let's summon this first so these are just training dummies so let's go ahead and test the card out and see what it can do. So if I summon the card over here, let me see what it'll do. So it will basically teleport me and I'm going to do damage on the enemy side and I'm going to be invincible. So that is quite interesting. So let me just summon these enemies quickly so that I could get the free um, rotation. I'm going to read the description of the card. I'll let these go by for a couple seconds. Alright. Oh my goodness, it's taking forever. I should be able to get in this next rotation. Okay, here it is. So, for the first time, we're, we're not getting a companion card. We're finally getting a mythic... We're getting a brand new mythic spell card. Slash summon card. So this is a spell card. It's not a summon card which is good so i'm gonna go ahead can i respawn the enemies uh yeah okay good so i'm gonna go over here do this again i'm invincible and look how much damage it could do and then i still have a red mark on me so i need to understand what that red mark means so i'm definitely gonna read it more and check it out so let's exit out let's check out the description of this card so Obscurus transforms you into an invincible Obscurus, launching six rapid basic attacks on random enemy units in the target area while briefly sh slowing them down. After the attacks, the target zone explodes, dealing massive damage to all enemy units and siding and racing the Obscurus status. You then return to your starting point. If there are no in opponents, if there are no opponent units in the target area, the area will be detonated and the attack will end. When Obscurus effect wears off, you are weakened and take 40% more damage for 5 seconds. Wow, so there's actually a big risk to using this spell card. So as you can see right here, when you're finished using the Obscurus card, there's going to be an effect. So that's the effect that was placed on me. So after I did my damage and I was on the opponent's side doing damage, there's like a little effect right here. So let's watch this little tutorial. So... You can basically avoid enemy attacks, but you see that effect that is still on me. So I'm basically taking damage after I did damage. So basically, there's a big risk to using this card. But I'll say that the, the risk is not something big because the damage is absolutely insane. The fact that you can teleport yourself and do damage on the opponent's side of the arena is really good. Even though you're going to take some damage afterwards, the damage is not huge. So I'll say it's fair enough. It's a fair trade. So I'll say that's decent. I'm going to go ahead and do my pulls. So I have two keys right here and I have 1,983 gems. Let's hope and pray that we'll be able to get this. Let's hope and pray. Let's go ahead and run this. Okay. Let's see if we can get this. Uh, we got an epic. Okay. Uh, epics not bad hopefully we can get some decent upgrades for our epics i don't really use this that much that's not a decent upgrade 
I don't use this either. Okay. So what else did we get? Okay, we got a nebulous upgrade. Got that. Okay, nice. So that wasn't a bad pull. Dang, we're going to have to spend some gems. So unfortunately, we wasn't able to get a Scarus. But I'm definitely going to be grinding and, you know, getting some more gems so that I'll be able to get this Mythic spell card because it's actually pretty, pretty good. So I'm definitely going to be grinding to get this card. I recommend you guys to also grind and get that card because it is a really, really good card. If you're playing PvP, if you're like a PvP player, you really want to get that card because the fact that you can turn invincible and do damage on the opponent's side, and even though you take damage afterwards, it's still good that you're able to go on the opponent's side and do some damage and then teleport back to your area. It's really good. So, really good card. I really like it. I'm actually glad the fact that they're giving us a new summon not a summon but a new spell card because we've had minerva and also ron weasley so i'm glad that they're giving us you know an actual spell card a new one so really good card i'm excited to use it i'm really excited to use this card and see how it works so that'll be it for the video guys that was just like you know my reaction to this new spell card and it's a really good spell card uh, what do you guys think about this card? Is it good? Are you guys going to use it in PvP? Put your thoughts down below in the comment section. I really want to see what you guys think. But anyways, that'll be it for the video. I hope you guys have a good one. Stay safe, stay hydrated, and I'll be seeing you guys soon. Peace.